Howdy y'all, Chet here with GoTexan, the brand and program that certifies and signifies authentic Texas makers and products run by the Texas Department of Agriculture. All right, so I have often said that you can travel the globe without leaving Texas, or at least your taste buds can. And our maker for today, Gallivan Ice Creams, definitely agrees. It's a flight of ice cream that's gonna take us on a flight around the world. See how I did that right there? All right, so this company is out of Houston, Texas. So these guys were actually our food winner for the 2020 Texas Works Awards presented by Go Texan. The owners of this company traveled to like over 50 countries and they realized that as they traveled the globe, they could taste flavors that you couldn't find in the US, at least not in desserts. And so they started a line of ice creams that brings those international flavors all across the globe right here to Texas. And they're making authentic Indian style ice creams out of both milk and mawa, an Indian milk solid. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious, kind of. <laughs> now I have no idea what that is, but I'm open to try it. It is uh, dried evaporated milks. Okay, South Asian milk solid. With all flights, you start kind of simple and you get advanced as you go. I figure we would start Thai coconut. I have an ice cream scoop, but honestly, it's, it's just me, so. Oh, dude, this, this looks great. Oh, it's got that coconut, like a like, pina colada type of smell. Ooh, straight off the bat. Delicious flavor, as if someone on a Thai beach blended the coconut up just for me. <laughs> Stand by. Flavor, dead on. Consistency, different than any other ice cream I've ever had. Mawa ice cream. It's got a, a like a grittiness to it. I've never had, that might be coming from the coconut. We won't know until we sample all the other ones. Was that bite a little different? Kind of like dirt flavored or? <laughs> She's polished off, she's good. Next up, Indian mango. The Indian mango is sweet and velvety in taste and has a saffron-ish aroma, making them the best mangoes in the world. Ooh, scoops almost like sorbet. Oh wow, oh wow. That tastes like the ripest, sweetest mango you've ever had, doused in heavy cream. What's not to love about that? I'm coming back to that one. All right, next up, chocolate. Uh, this isn't just any chocolate, this is African chocolate. Ooh. Oh, incredible. This is like actual chocolate beans in my mouth. Chocolate. After that cream kind of goes away from your mouth, you're left with this idea that like, no, you're, you're eating legit cocoa beans from Africa. That is awesome. Usually ice cream, just like the consistency is the same, but the flavor's different. All three of those completely different. All right, pistachio. Persian pistachio, in fact, which have been enjoyed since 7,000 BC, known as the smiling nut. Hey! Mmm, that's awesome. We have kind of turned pistachio flavoring into this like weird green minty thing. You know what I'm talking about? This tastes like actual pistachios. And it's delicious. This is the one I think I've been most excited about. Ain't gonna look like any ice cream you've ever had. Looks like refried black beans. <laughs> it does. It's one of those foods that tricks your brain. While gallivanting through Asia, we learned that Chinese black sesame seeds have an unrivaled nutty taste. Hey! A distinct aroma that makes them the best black sesame seeds in the world. Sweet but the least sweet of all the ice creams I've eaten so far. Goodness, all these ice creams, like you can tell that you're eating actual ingredients. You're not just eating flavorings. You know, they did all the gallivanting across the globe for us. We just get to do the delicious part and eat the ice cream. Wow, well done Gallivant. You guys are making some really killer products. Houston has always been said, it's one of the most international cities in the world. Gallivant ice cream proves it once again. Now I gotta try the other ones and you can try them too. Go to shop.gotexan.com org order your own. That black sesame was good, but I'm gonna get back to the, uh, I'm gonna come back to the beginning. Tack coconut. Wow. Tastes like coconut, like real coconut.